What's up everyone? I'm Carlos, better known as Ultra Rotem, and this is the second time I'm collaborating with Chris on his channel. This time I'm going to talk about the topic of veganism. Veganism is a topic that many people are ignorant and uneducated about. Which, yeah, it's normal and understandable. Everyone is ignorant when it comes to something, and that's why we're here to learn. However, even in leftist spaces, there are people who aren't just ignorant. They try to argue against veganism, try to discourage others from going vegan, and get really upset each time the topic of veganism is even briefly mentioned. And that's what I want to address in this video. Currently, veganism is a very controversial topic, and I'll explain why it shouldn't be seen that way, and why people should embrace it, especially leftists. This video is primarily aimed at people who have left-leaning political views, especially anarchist tendencies, and are familiar with some concepts related to social justice, radical politics, and liberation. However, I think that everyone should listen to this to learn a thing or two and to have a better understanding of veganism and how it relates to politics. So, a lot of criticism towards veganism comes from a place of not fully understanding the concept. And to make sure we are on the same page, let me define it first and clear some misconceptions. According to the vegan society, veganism is defined as the following. Veganism is a philosophy and way of living which seeks to exclude as far as possible and practicable all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose, and by extension promotes the development and use of animal-free alternatives for the benefit of animals, humans, and the environment. Now, the vegan society isn't the supreme authority and the ultimate gatekeeper of veganism. However, this is a kind of definition that most vegan advocates use and the one that is the most logical in ethical and political terms. One of the most common misconceptions is that veganism is a diet. By that definition alone, we can see that vegans also abstain from clothes made of animals or circuses where animals are exploited, for example. Yes, one of the most noticeable parts of being vegan is abstaining from eating meat, dairy, eggs, and so on. But does it make sense to call it a diet because of that? By that logic, human rights is also a diet because it implies not eating humans. Even the forms of animal cruelty and exploitation that are already criticized by society are included in veganism. That includes, for example, kicking a dog or throwing a cat out of the window. The distinction between veganism and a plant-based diet is important. A plant-based diet is what we call a vegan diet. It contains nothing that comes from animals, but it only refers to the dietary part and not the ethical philosophy or other aspects outside of food that include animal use and exploitation. And by as far and as possible and practicable, it means that veganism implies doing the best you can. We can't avoid animal use 100% in our lives. There are things such as life-saving medication and vaccines that are tested on animals. The food for our cats and dogs contains meat. And in some really specific situations, people might need to eat animals due to not having alternatives. 
as long as you are abstaining from animal exploitation where it's totally unnecessary and perfectly avoidable and you are morally opposed to animal abuse and exploitation you you are considered a vegan so how is veganism related to politics and how does it align with the left veganism is a movement that fights against a form of discrimination speciesism speciesism is the form of oppression discrimination and bias based on animal species basically it's the mindset that leads to people loving and protecting dogs and on the other hand not caring about pigs and cows people just see them as food they pay for them to be exploited and killed for meat leftist politics especially anarchist politics are against all forms of discrimination injustice and arbitrary hierarchies and are in favor of liberation and the, the end goal of veganism is animal liberation when you try to bring up veganism in leftist spaces they usually devolve into right-wingers and use reactionary talking points they don't care about what's the most logical and morally correct thing they just care about their own convenience and pleasure you might find them bragging about how they're supposedly on the top of the food chain and commenting meat emojis on vegan posts to look edgy it's the might makes right and fuck everyone else besides me mindset and do you think that it's compatible with the left many of them try to paint veganism as some right-wing anti-progressive thing to try to dodge their moral responsibility of not harming animals when in reality they are the ones who are being these things i just described why would you want to argue against a philosophy based on respecting animals and avoiding harm towards them ask yourself is that any different from right-wingers who make a boogeyman out of leftist ideologies and make up some stories where they are the enemies because they don't want to lose their privileges and they want to get away with bigotry with no consequences people don't want to lose the privilege of eating bacon and steak without being held accountable and criticized for harming animals they want speciesism and animal exploitation to stay socially acceptable and want to stigmatize the topic of veganism itself they have the same strategies as right-wingers which are being willfully ignorant spreading fake news until everyone believes in them and distorting the narrative on social media you'll often see many leftist and social justice profiles sharing complete garbage that's criticizing veganism it's usually posts with a bunch of misinformation and fallacies but they uncritically spread it around because it confirms their anti-vegan biases and makes them feel better about paying animals paying for animals to be killed which is a form of conforming to the status quo now there's the difference between the average non-vegans and the anti-vegans the non-vegans might be ignorant but might be receptive to veganism and might eventually go vegan once they have more information and find out how to go vegan the anti-vegans however have decidedly targeted the ideology of veganism as their enemy and want to fight it they are the ones who tend to spread all that misinformation but even some more well-intentioned non-vegans might fall for the propaganda and also share this 
anti-vegan posts full of false information. Many leftists will tell vegans things such as Oh, you don't eat meat because it exploits animals, but you are fine with exploiting workers who pick your vegetables. Or, veganism isn't totally cruelty-free, so why bother doing anything? There's no ethical consumption under capitalism anyway. Like, no shit, we live under capitalism. We have no choice other than living in a system that exploits workers. We can't fully avoid it. But we can do our best. Doesn't this whole thing remind you of right-wingers who say Oh, you're against capitalism, hey, but you have an iPhone, you have a car, ha 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 ha. Non-vegans also pay for products that exploit workers, and they actually contribute to way more exploitation and damage, because not only they also eat plants and consume other plant-based items outside of food, but on top of that, they're paying for the torture and death of animals, which, yeah, by the way, the animals need to eat food themselves, so there's a lot more environmental impact and worker exploitation in the process. Veganism doesn't solve every single issue in the world, but it solves some, it reduces a lot of harm, and it doesn't create new problems. Just think about this for a second. Our current food system is flawed. Yes, including the plant-based foods, because under capitalism, food is mostly produced to make a profit rather than feeding people. There's a lot of food waste and exploitation, but the production of plant-based foods can be reformed and turned into something way more ethical. Growing vegetables doesn't inherently require exploitation and unethical practices. However, eating animals inherently requires treating the animal as a product and killing said animal in the end. And even for the workers, slaughterhouse work is incredibly traumatic, dangerous and cruel for the people working there. At first you might think, wow, what kind of apathetic and sadistic, bloodthirsty person who would want to work there? Yet you're right to question the morals of people who genuinely want to work in these jobs. And not only, you should also question the morals of people who willingly pay for that to happen, but keep in mind that under capitalism, people might be coerced into these jobs. It might be their only option, or even be tricked or forced into slaughterhouse work, including prison labor, modern slavery. You can, for example, just Google slaughterhouse work PTSD and slaughterhouse work risks and hazards. And no surprise, you'll see many things because the job requires people to take a living sentient animal who is screaming in pain and begging for mercy and to slice their neck with dangerous equipment while being constantly exposed to blood and animal body parts. These things don't only happen in the meat industry. Now, I'm not going to show the image here as they're incredibly bloody, violent and traumatic, but if you are curious to know what happens, you can check out the documentaries Dominion, Earthlings and land of open glory. You can watch them for free. It's extremely graphic and sensitive content, but it's the unfiltered truth. And if watching is so traumatic, it's so hard to watch, it's a sign that maybe it's a bad thing and you should probably abstain from it, right? If you think that when it comes to food, only meat is bad, know that the dairy industry isn't much better. In fact, the dairy industry is the meat industry. Cows are mammals, just like dogs, cats, 
giraffes, horses, and, of course, humans. Cows don't just make milk out of nothing. They have to be pregnant and give birth first. And what does the dairy industry do? They forcefully impregnate the cows. They are sexually exploiting the cows and violating their reproductive autonomy. Then they usually take their babies away and keep exploiting the cows for milk over and over again. And in the end, they will also kill the cows for meat. It wouldn't be profitable to just let the babies drink their mother's milk. How do you think that there are thousands and thousands of milk packages in the supermarket? Nothing ethical or pleasant happened in the process. And like, just, just let that sink in for a moment. Just think about it. The idea of drinking breast milk from a cow, from a goddamn cow, or a sheep or a goat for that matter, should at least weird you out. All these chocolates, cheeses and ice creams made out of milk intended for baby animals. Like, even if you put the vegan stuff aside, just think about it. People don't really think about these things. They know that they're consuming milk, they know that it comes from a cow, but their brain is in autopilot mode and they don't critically think about what they're consuming. There are other super messed up things going on, for example, in the egg industry, horse racing, animal testing, the leather industry, and so on. And again, if you want to learn more about these things, go check the documentaries I mentioned earlier. The links are in the description. Also, even though veganism isn't an environmental movement by itself, there is this intersection between environmentalism and veganism because many things that harm animals also happen to cause serious harms to the planet. And why should you care about the environment? Because there are individuals living here. And that includes the animals. There are many studies showing that sectors like the meat and dairy industry are doing lots of damage to the planet. And if more people went vegan, we would significantly free a lot of land, reduce emissions by a lot, and at least mitigate some of the impact of climate change. The climate situation is very urgent right now, and we need to act. And several people going vegan would help. Yes, of course, animal farming isn't the only thing destroying the planet right now. Capitalism as a whole is arming the planet. But saying capitalism is pretty vague because our entire system is capitalist. It's based on exploitation and mass production. Our end goal is to abolish the system altogether. But we have to do something immediately so we have an inhabitable planet and we need to do our best to minimize harm we still have moral responsibilities under capitalism there is a peer-reviewed study in the description of the video showing how going vegan or eating a plant-based diet is an act of resistance and climate justice and even intersects with things such as indigenous rights because these people who are exploiting animals are destroying indigenous land to to let the their animals and uh, you can also watch the documentaries cowspiracy and seaspiracy to learn more let's go back to the political and social dimension of the matter eating meat is usually seen as masculine and conservative right-wing people will tell you that veganism is is for women it's for the gays like in a super derogatory manner 
there are offensive turns they created like soy boy aimed at vegan men which are sexist and homophobic terms and no surprise that in animal farming and rancher spaces there are many people with right-wing ideologies people who support trump and have these conservative beliefs and conspiracy theories that in an ideal world would be obsolete by now just look at this right-wing anti-vegan meme on the screen for example this is the intersection i was talking about people who exploit and torture animals including sexually abusing animals tend to have the same kind of mindset that leads to other forms of bigotry and as soon as veganism becomes more popular and socially acceptable the right will do everything it takes to try to stop veganism from being successful currently many leftists are already doing the right wingers work for them now not only they've internalized these biases like related to toxic masculinity and homophobia even women even lgbt people who are very on the left they still need to break this bias and stigma associated with eating animals and masculinity which is still something that can contribute to preventing them from making the switch from veganism right away also on top of the common non-vegan leftist strategies and talking points i mentioned earlier these people also do the following they try to silence vegan activists and to discourage us from challenging the status quo they call us annoying and tell us to stop trying to force our beliefs on everyone which are all kinds of social justice activists are called annoying by the opposition and are discouraged from trying to dismantle the oppressive structures right-wingers will also tell lgbt people hey stop forcing your beliefs on other mind your own business and respect other people's opinions even if the opinion is just homophobia yeah right i also see many non-vegan especially anti-vegan leftists tone policing if you are unfamiliar with the concept tone policing isn't simply righteously calling out people when they're being actually rude and inappropriate it's dismissing their message altogether and accusing people of being aggressive even when they really aren't they want to swap the focus of the conversation instead of the focus being the message of veganism now they made the conversation about the the tone of the person whether or not they're being too aggressive like hell even if the person was being in fact rude and using the incorrect tone using the like not behaving in the correct way it wouldn't still be an excuse to dismiss veganism let me make an analogy here so let's say that you are walking near a lake and there is a child who is about to drown who is screaming for help and yeah you need to to save them immediately and then you hear someone saying hey you piece of shit go help that fucking child yeah what the person said was in fact rude and inappropriate however is that going to influence you on the decision of whether or not you're saving the child 
Yeah, of course not. It's not the child's fault. So if a vegan tells you something like, Hey, you piece of shit animal murderer. Why don't you leave the animals the fuck alone? It would still not be a reason not to be vegan or to not listen to the message. Because guess what? Even though the person was saying that in an aggressive way, it's not the animal's fault that that one vegan said that that way. Tone policing is weaponized against marginalized groups. For example, men want to yell at women as much as they want, interrupt them whenever they want, use as many bad words they want, and but they don't like when women do the same. They want them to be submissive and to not respond back or how white people have a bias against people of color when it comes to tone, such as saying that black people speak too aggressively and are too angry. In my case in particular, as an autistic person, I have experience with tone policing, especially when promoting veganism. Autistic people tend to be passionate about a specific topic and to use direct communication, saying unpleasant facts without sugarcoating them, which tends to be perceived as rude, which it necessarily isn't. Veganism is one of my special interests, which again people deem as annoying, obnoxious, too much. Tone policing against vegans helps normalizing tone policing from the right. Things such as, well, I support these marginalized groups' rights, but many people who are part of that group were aggressive to me, they hurt my feelings, so now I don't support their rights, I don't support their movement. They want to derail political topics and turn the conversation into an arbitrary game where the most polite and calm person wins. So, I hope that this video is helping you understand why the left needs to embrace veganism, at least starting to engage with the topic of veganism in good faith instead of resorting to right-wing logic and defending the status quo and the propaganda they've been fed. Please challenge your own biases against the idea of veganism and your own prejudice against other animal species and encourage other leftists to think about veganism and animal liberation. It's a topic that needs to be brought up and promoted more often in the left. I know that some of you might be unsure on how to make the switch to veganism, especially when it comes to food. And as long as you are open to veganism and actually trying to change, you are doing the right thing. You, co you can contact me on Twitter and I can try to make some time for you and help you if you want. Before ending the video, I'd like to once again share my donation link here. My coffee is in the description as I currently have no form of income of my own, especially when most jobs are inaccessible to me as an autistic person. I currently dedicate my time to activism and educational content and your donations will help me participate in more videos like this. Donations are optional and please only do it if you can really afford it, but they are highly appreciated and helpful. No amount is too small. Anyway, share your feedback in the comments and tell us if you'd like to hear me talking about veganism and its relation with politics in this channel again. Would you like a part two?
there are more things that I could talk about here. Anyway, thanks so much for your attention and see you next time.